On January 28, 2025, at 12.49 p.m., an F-35A Lightning II crashed inside Eielson Air Force Base during a routine training flight, but what followed was anything but routine. In a terrifying moment caught on video, the pilot ejected just seconds before the jet plunged into the ground and exploded into flames. This marks yet another high-profile crash of the world's most advanced fighter, raising urgent questions. Is the F-35 cutting-edge technology becoming a liability? And could this happen again? Let's find out in this episode. The aircraft was operating in the base's traffic pattern, likely conducting standard approach and landing procedures when the pilot reported an in-flight emergency. According to official statements, the pilot issued a mayday call over the radio moments before losing control of the aircraft. The jet, with its landing gear extended, continued to descend in an unstable manner. A KC-135 crew member stationed on the flight line at Eielson captured video footage of the incident, which has since circulated widely on social media. The footage shows the F-35A's rapid descent, followed by the pilot's ejection sequence before the aircraft impacted the ground and erupted into flames. After ejecting, the pilot was recovered and transported to Bassett Army Hospital in Fairbanks for evaluation. Although the extent of their injuries has not been disclosed, they have since been released. The aircraft, however, was completely destroyed upon impact, leaving wreckage scattered within the base perimeter. Emergency response teams swiftly secured the crash site, initiating containment and recovery operations to assist both the Accident Investigation Board and site remediation efforts. Due to the location of the crash, authorities have warned against stopping along the Richardson Highway, which runs adjacent to the base, as it could pose safety hazards and interfere with ongoing recovery efforts. Investigations into the cause of the accident are underway, but due to the classified nature of the F-35 program, the U.S. Air Force's final accident report may take up to two years before being publicly released. The pilot's ejection in the Eielson F-35A crash was a life-saving moment, but it also highlights the risks fighter pilots face and the technology that keeps them alive. Unlike the F-35B, which has an auto-ejection system due to its short takeoff and vertical landing design, the F-35A requires manual ejection. That means the pilot had to recognize the situation was unrecoverable and make a split-second decision to eject, knowing that once they pulled the handle, the jet was lost for good. The recorded footage shows the F-35A flying with a wingman, which is standard protocol during emergencies. The wingman plays a crucial role, visually inspecting the struggling jet, providing real-time updates, and assisting the pilot if a landing is still possible. The F-35A was clearly coming in for an emergency landing, with its landing gear extended, but just moments before touchdown, the pilot lost control. In a split second, the ejection seat fired, launching the pilot into the air. Meanwhile, the aircraft continued its descent, hit the ground, and exploded into flames. A chilling detail from the video is that the jet's engine was still running all the way to impact, indicating that the aircraft still had power, but something made it completely unflyable. One interesting detail in the footage is that the jet appears to be much higher than the pilot after ejection. That might seem strange at first, but it's actually a well-known maneuver in emergency situations. Pilots sometimes try to zoom up before ejecting, pitching the nose of the aircraft up just before pulling the handle. This gives them extra altitude and time, allowing the ejection seat to fully stabilize and deploy the parachute safely. If they eject too low or in a bad attitude, there's a risk of not enough separation between them and the aircraft, or worse, the parachute not opening in time. In this case, the pilot executed the ejection perfectly, ensuring the best possible survival conditions. The Martin Baker US-16E ejection seat, used in all F-35 variants, is one of the most advanced ejection systems in the world. It's a zero-zero ejection seat, meaning it can safely eject a pilot even at zero altitude and zero airspeed. In other words, it can work even if the aircraft is sitting on the ground or in an extremely low-speed stall. This is a critical safety feature, especially for modern jets that operate at the edge of performance limits. At the time of this crash, 10 pilots had been saved by the F-35's ejection system. Now, with this incident, that number has gone up to 11. That's a testament to how effective this system is, but it also raises a bigger question. How often do we need to rely on ejections before we start questioning the overall safety of the aircraft itself? 
Another factor that also raised concerns about the aircraft is its very advanced technology, which is, in fact, a double-edged sword. The F-35 Lightning II is often praised as the most technologically advanced fighter jet ever built, packed with cutting-edge avionics, fully digital cockpit interfaces, and sophisticated software-driven systems. But here's the problem. The more complex the technology, the more potential points of failure. When an aircraft relies so heavily on digital systems, it also becomes more vulnerable to software glitches, sensor errors, and electronic failures, any of which could have played a role in the Ielsen crash. One of the biggest concerns with the F-35's design is that everything depends on the aircraft's software. Unlike older jets that had backup analog instruments, the F-35's cockpit is entirely digital. If a system crashes mid-flight, the pilot loses critical information and has no traditional gauges to fall back on. This isn't just a theoretical issue, it has already happened before. In the 2023 South Carolina crash, a helmet display malfunction left the pilot disoriented, making it seem like the jet was out of control. Following the flight manual's emergency procedures, the pilot ejected, only for investigators to later determine the jet was still flyable. This raises a serious question. Is the F-35's technology so complex that it sometimes works against the pilot? Who's really in control, the pilot or the aircraft itself? Modern fighter jets are supposed to make a pilot's job easier, not harder. But with the F-35's overwhelming number of automated systems, sensors, and software-driven controls, there's growing concern that pilots are struggling to manage these aircraft when something goes wrong. In the Ielsen crash, the pilot reported an in-flight malfunction before ejecting. But we don't yet know whether it was a mechanical failure, a sensor issue, or a software glitch. The problem is, when a jet like the F-35 starts throwing error messages at a pilot mid-flight, it can be incredibly difficult to diagnose the issue in real time. There have been previous cases where the aircraft's sensors provided inaccurate or conflicting information, forcing pilots to make life-or-death decisions with incomplete data. If that happened in this case, it's possible the pilot simply didn't trust what the jet was telling him and chose to eject rather than risk losing control. This brings up an even bigger issue. How much trust do pilots really have in the F-35's onboard systems? If a pilot can't be sure whether a warning is real or a glitch, they may err on the side of caution and eject unnecessarily. And if an aircraft's systems are so complicated that even highly trained military pilots struggle to manage them under stress, then is the technology really helping or is it making things worse? There's no doubt that the F-35 is an engineering marvel, but when an aircraft is so dependent on software, automation, and electronic systems, it also becomes more vulnerable to unexpected failures. A single sensor glitch could trigger an emergency, a software error could make the aircraft unresponsive, and a digital cockpit malfunction could leave a pilot without critical flight data when they need it most. So it's possible that in the Eelson crash, the F-35's technology played a role in confusing the pilot, failing at a crucial moment, or making an already difficult situation even worse. If that's the case, it wouldn't be the first time an F-35's advanced systems created more problems than they solved. And until we get more answers, it's fair to ask, has the push for advanced technology gone too far, turning fighter pilots into passengers in a jet they don't fully control? But the bigger concern here is that the F-35 crash at Eielson Air Force Base isn't just an isolated incident, it's part of a growing pattern that raises serious questions about the jet's reliability. While aircraft accidents happen across all military programs, the F-35 has now seen three major crashes within a relatively short time frame in South Carolina in September 20, 23, New Mexico in May 20, 24, and now Alaska in January 2025. When expensive state-of-the-art jets keep going down under different circumstances, it's fair to ask, are these just unfortunate coincidences or do they point to deeper systemic issues? At $81 million per jet, the loss of even a single aircraft is a massive financial blow, not just for the U.S. military, but also for allied nations investing in the platform. So far, over 1,000 F-35 have been produced, and with approximately 11 major crashes recorded, that means about 1% of the fleet has already been lost to Class A mishaps, the most serious category of aircraft accidents. That may not sound like much, but when the price tag is this high, every crash represents a staggering financial and strategic loss. If these incidents continue at the same rate, how sustainable is the program in the long run? But beyond just the cost, these crashes highlight an even bigger issue, the future of manned fighter aircraft itself. 
Every time a pilot ejects from a cutting-edge jet, it adds fuel to the argument that human pilots may no longer be necessary in high-risk combat environments. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAV, AI-controlled fighter swarms, and next-generation drones are advancing at an incredible pace, and each expensive F-35 loss accelerates the shift toward autonomous air combat. If an $81 million jet flown by a highly trained pilot can still be lost due to software failures, sensor glitches, or unpredictable mechanical issues, then why keep risking pilots' lives at all? This isn't just speculation, it's already happening. The U.S. military is rapidly expanding its drone programs, developing AI-assisted fighter pilots, and testing semi-autonomous wingman drones designed to fly alongside manned jets. Some defense experts argue that within a couple of decades, traditional fighter jets could be obsolete, replaced by fleets of cheaper, expendable, and more resilient UAV. So, is the F-35 program fighting against the inevitable? Right now, we're investing billions into a jet that is already showing troubling vulnerabilities, while unmanned aircraft are proving to be cheaper, safer, and potentially even more capable in some scenarios. The Ielsen crash is just another reminder that as impressive as the F-35 is, the future of air combat might belong to machines, not pilots.